it would never happen. That is what Shimano constantly said for years when the subject of 105DI2 was raised. But at long last, it is here. And this is everything that you need to know. Right then, Jamie, are you ready for a crash course in Shimano's 105DI2 group set? Well, I've been looking forward to this more than life itself. I, I wouldn't <laughs> go that far, but it mirrors Jura Ace and Ultegra. It's 12 speed, wireless, has an updated aesthetic, includes wireless connectivity for your phone, comes only with huge cassettes, and gets newly shaped hood ergonomics. Mm. Well, wow, but what about mechanical shifting? Well, sad news for those of you that love the tactile feel of a mechanical system and rim brakes. The new 12-speed stuff is electronic and disc only. That is going to make some people very unhappy. Oh, uh, to be honest, I'm quite upset. Right, well, that is the headlines, um, big headlines. Mm. Should we take a closer look? Yes, let's start down at the rear derailleur because that's where all the brains are housed. So in there, you've got the same tech as you'll find in the more expensive Ultegra and Dura Ace group sets. It connects wirelessly to the shifters. It has Bluetooth connectivity built in, so you can hook up your phone without ever needing to buy that stupid D-Fly <laughs> unit for over, what, 100 quid? And most practically, for the majority of us, it will run with a whopping 36-tooth cassette. This is also where you'll need to go and put the system into adjustment mode, and the charger connects here too. Look closely though, and you'll find one difference from Ortega and Dura Race. The derailleur still has a physical limit screws, where the other group sets have moved to electronic limits. Um, I want to just go back to one thing here. Uh, this can run an 1136 cassette. The other option is an 11 to 34 tooth cassette, and that's it. So Shimano obviously knows who's gonna be buying this group mm. set and what those cyclists want. They want the easy gears for the climbs. I think what they've done is try to make Ultegra still a thing. Yes, <laughs> yeah, they've very much differentiated mm. it. Maybe as the, you know, the every man's racer group set, whereas Dura Race is just for the pros now. Mm -hmm. So remind us, what, what does Ultegra, what cassette options do you get with that? You can get that with an 1128, an 1130, and I think in 1132, mm -hmm. which- So all smaller. All than smaller, the all closer, all better personally for <laughs> racing. But yeah. if I was going for my winter bike, it's getting a 105 cassette. However, you can still get this group set with a 5236 chain set. That's a serious spread of gears if you want to push the pace on a group ride but then you also have some nice spinny gears to get up the steep climbs. Yeah, I think we both agreed uh, that this is a great thing to see. So let's continue talking gears and move on to the cassette. Mm -hmm. This is obviously a 12 speed block now and features what Shimano calls sweet spot gears. They claim that this will increase pedaling efficiency, but what it means in plain English is that there shouldn't be any too big a gap in between the tooth count. This means that you should always be able to find a nice comfortable gear without massively changing your cadence. Yeah, so everything is compatible with your current 11-speed wheels too. Which, Excellent. Top stuff, mm. really like that. The front derailleur is aesthetically quite different to the Ultegra and Dura Race units. Shimano has spent a lot of time and quite likely money making them very small. 105 hasn't got that. That looks like the 11-speed Ultegra upper body to me. Yeah, it does, to be honest. Um, do you think they found it in the parts bin? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Whatever the case, this is one of the most visible cost savings. In terms of how it performs though, Shimano promises fast and precise shifting, but we're gonna have to get our hands on it to find out that. Yeah. Uh, the cranks, meanwhile, they move to the boxier and more symmetrical design that we saw come in with the Dura Race and Ultegra, and that's all about there is to say here. Ah, well, they've also plugged the crank axle to try and prevent those embarrassing Damn. crank failures. That mm. was apparently due to water ingress. Ah, so okay. Anything you can do there. And so the, you, uh, the you, chain rings are available 50, 34, and 52, 36. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that 105 DI2s take straight from the Ultegra and Dura Ace group sets are the brake calipers. Mm. Well, they take the 10% <laughs> pad, extra pad clearance. The good anyway. bit. Then. Yeah, the, the good bit. Shimano doesn't say anything about the system inheriting servo wave technology in the levers but they do say that the brake features include 
fast initial contact point along with wider control zone. I mean, that sounds like mm. servo wave to me. Um, <laughs> anyway, what that means in English is that initially a little bit of lever movement causes the pads to move a lot and then this slows down. It's meant to give you a spongier feel at the lever under braking. But that extra pad clearance should make the brakes quieter after heavy braking but that's as much to do with the rotors as anything else. Yeah. Um, oh, new rotors. Um, ah. They look, well, they look like <laughs> rotors to me, personally. That's about it. <laughs> they come with ice tech freezer technology, but to be honest, unless they're carbon, rotors are boring. Yeah, moving on. So the final piece of the puzzle before we move on to new wheels. Ooh. Oh yeah, new wheels. <laughs> Redesigned shifters. Yes, uh, I have to say we do love bonus wheels. Uh, the, back to the shifters. The new hoods are lifted straight from the Ultegra and Durace models. You just you, uh, lose the extra thumb buttons on the top of the hood. Ah. That's how you actuate them as well. Mm. <laughs> do Excellent. That. So the body is slightly longer and taller. We've also seen tech documents that require you to fit two CR1632 batteries to the shifters. In each, we're not sure we're about not that because sure, um, we've mm. seen other things that kind of contradict that. Mm. I think it's one we'll have to investigate. Yes. Um, but I'd imagine Shimano isn't really fussed about an extra battery, and they're just going to extend the battery life. That's all I can think mm. of. Well, when we get one in, I'll do the taking it apart. Yeah, I'll you do. Can put I'll, it back I'll together do, again. No, I was going to say I'll do the ride in. <laughs> ah, That'd be perfect. Not without any battery shifting. <laughs> Anyway, the bit that interests me is that the levers utilise Shimano's proprietary wireless integrated circuit. Shimano claims that this features high security, fast processing speeds and low power consumption. Mm. In fact, they get a bit cocky, <laughs> saying that if you contrast theirs with other wireless platforms, you get a significant decrease in interference probability, faster shift speeds and longer battery life. So they're tram we assume yeah right um, we'll do enough competitive bashing for one video uh let's have a quick look at the new wheels, wheels. before <laughs> wheels before we take a look at what all of this costs so shimano has always had wheels at the 105 level but this is the first time that they've launched a proper full carbon wheel set with the 105 badge and not just one set bonus wheels no way two <laughs> bonus wheels the c32 and the c46 mm. Funnily enough, the C32 is 32 millimetres deep no. and the C46, would you guess? No It's way. 46 millimetres deep. Anyway, the claimed weights are 1502 grams for the C32 and 1610 grams for the C, what are they, 46s? Yes, these, these wheels are also backwards compatible with 11 speed group sets. Mm. Uh, both will cost a grand and that, Jamie, leads us nicely onto money. Ooh. A group set with a battery, the chain, wires, rotors, will cost £1,730. The list price of the old 11-speed mechanical stuff, without rotors, I have to say, was 800 quid. So the best part of a £900 jump for the extra cog and the wireless shifting. Mm. That also makes it a little bit more expensive than SRAM rival ETAP. But then it is more interesting to see where the prices settle like they yeah. it could come down i think there's likely going to still be a bit of a gap be between like mechanical and electronic shifting for mm. anyone buying a bike in a shop and one thing to consider is that shimano has brought the di2 down to the 105 level like why have they done it firstly they don't want to be losing out on sales to tram rival tap group set and secondly the barrier to 105 di2 was always the cost but development costs of all that tech have well they've, they've come down so Shimano will have been able to bring this in at a lower price than Altegra just by using cheaper materials and stuffing the techie bits into a less cramped body. Right, well, we can't wait to get our hands on 105DI2 for testing. Hmm, anyway, looks good. Yeah. Comment things. Uh, like things. Subscribe to things. And buy things. Bye.